Hello. <laughs> Day four of the Morven Hills. It's our last night, isn't it? Last day. Last day. Our HS uh, Morven Spring Show yesterday. Spent a fortune on plants, as you do. And there's a car coming. Stop for a cheeky pint. And they got caravan camping here. So yeah, all in all it's been a it's been a pretty good few days. Weather's not been great. Um could have been better. Although it's not been as bad as what they said it was gonna be. They said it was gonna uh rain a lot more when we were at the Morven show on um Friday. Um As you can see it's uh it's sunny now. Someone taking their uh just turn the camera around. Someone taking their awning down there at the moment. I'm wondering whether we should do the same thing. It is due to rain tonight uh, and then again at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning but it is supposed to be sunny in the morning. So I'm kind of hoping, um, kind of hoping it might have dried out because the problem is, is uh, the way we the way we have our, uh, sorry the reason why I did that is Amber has just passed wind in the caravan and it stinks so. Dog fart spray. Um, yeah what we used to do is put the back seats down in the car and um, put everything into the, uh, the car when we break the awning down. We've only got the porch awning with us this time but... Um, Probably a good idea, but then I like to spend my last um, my last day at the campsite enjoying myself. Really, we're having a uh, having a roast dinner tonight, so oh, you can't really see the meat. Can you? We bought some um, bought some really nice meat from a butcher's at the Morven Show yesterday, so we're having we're having that tonight. Then we'll get Amber out for our evening walk. Watch a bit of TV. A few more glasses of wine. Yeah. Now we um, also have this satellite system that I bought quite some time ago. Don't know if you can. Um, I'll show you the dish in a minute, actually. Um, which is a easy find satellite system, which is really good. Um, what I use it for now is to set the satellite dish up, and then I we, we have a uh, second skybox. So I now bring the skybox, and once you've got the easy find satellite system set up, you can just unplug it from the easy find satellite receiver and plug it directly uh, into the back of your skybox, and you have sky when you're away, which I will show you now. I am now watching, um, what am I watching, well Only Falls and Horses, but I'll just show you, so we have everything, what I also do is I connect the network connection of the Skybox to my iPad, I use my iPad as a um, broadband router because it's got mobile broadband on it. And uh, 
as you can see, we have uh, all the Sky Channels that you would normally get. That is the dish over there, which is the easy find system. And the um, receiver for that I've wired in here. It looks a bit of a mess in there, but uh, it all works. Um, so yeah, we uh, we find this quite a good system actually. Um, don't watch all that much TV while we're away, but um, we knew it was going to be raining while we were away this time. So um, and obviously, if you've got any recordings on it, then uh, obviously you get all your. I'm I'm actually downloading a film for tonight. As you can see on there, it's only at 25% because it's using the mobile broadband off the uh, iPad. Um, so yeah, I'll do that in another video as well and show you how I've set that up. Amber, are you cleaning the carpet for me? Good girl. My uh, trudging LED light tubes. You show them the night time. Yeah. And the ones you made show them later. And these. <coughs> are wobbly knees. No. These. Are LED lights I fitted the weekend before we came away, which I'll show you in another video. They're very cheap actually to do. And I'll show them later. There's a remote control. And they're also dimmable. But I shall show them later. So I'll just show you this uh, final footage. There's um, the flash is on on the um, iPhone. Um, so, Deb, if you just want to go and turn the corner lights on, just to show what standard caravan lighting is like. This is with the blinds down, obviously, I showed you it earlier. It's obviously quite nice. It's all right. Personally, when we're sitting here watching TV, I find it a bit bright. You'd agree? Yes. So if we turn those off, the alternative is, is that you have these uh, reading lights here, which are what they say they are reading lights. So um, obviously the uh, light is still coming in through here. So again, using the remote control, this is what we now have. That's at a hundred percent. Fifty. Twenty-five. I can take it down further. It doesn't give you the best perspective here. But I'll show you from over here. Because this is quite a good view. These, these are presets, by the way, on the remote control, so uh, that's 100, 50, 25, and this is what I would call cinema mode, which is fantastic. And also, don't forget, you can have disco lights. 
Yes, I'm going to show you that to them in a minute because we didn't realise this when I fitted them. Not that we'd really want to discuss Not that we will ever use this function, but it does do it as well. You never know. But um, I don't know how, how well you can see this with a with an iPhone, but when you're kind of sitting here watching TV, it gives you really nice ambient lighting. And what I've done is I've fitted them just behind the kind of pelmets up here with this diffuser which was a separate part and the same here now I could have done this one um, further over but I wanted I wanted to see a part of the light and I didn't want to hide it under here and it's, it's worked really well I'm really really happy with it I have to say and again I'll just give you a view from back here I mean I know they probably have these in all modern caravans I don't know if they're dimmable but 25 and then low again now check this out party light time and there's not just one there's loads of different modes on this apparently we're never going to use this because we are not going to be having discos in our caravan but my god now this um, this this is this uh, 12 volt remote controller, which I ordered off eBay. Can we turn the disco lights off now? Yeah, <laughs> they. I mean, look at this. Look at this, guys. I mean, come on. You had a bigger it? caravan. Can we turn it off now, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> So it does all that. We don't need that anyway. This this little controller, I'll just show you. Drive wired in. That is it, guys. That is it. And do you know how much it cost? Two pound ninety five for that plus the remote control without the batteries. I'll show you in another video how that's all wired in. It's very very simple, and it is absolutely brilliant. It really has. Um, kind of change the the evening ambience of uh, watching TV over here uh, of an evening we used to have a um, a lamp on the end there where you can see my glass of wine um, which is a bit of a pain in the butt because you used to have to plug it in down here so every time you made the bed up um, obviously you had to unplug it but again it's still reflected on the back of the TV whereas these are all as you can see and um, uh, as I say, I think these are pretty much fitted to standard to most modern caravans. Um, although my my parents had a uh, had a um, uh, a modern caravan, a 2013 caravan, a uh, Bailey. I can't remember uh, Bailey Pegasus, and um, I think. They weren't, they didn't have the diffuser, but I think it was only, as you can see, I've put a meter on here. I put a meter on each side. I think they were only about half a meter, so they were only from here to about here, but obviously centralized, and they certainly weren't uh, remote control or doable. So, um, hope you've enjoyed my videos. I know there's, uh, I, I, I've put quite a lot in. Um, LED lights, gravy, um, quite a few other things. Um, hopefully I'll be making a few more videos as we go along. As I say, we don't know, um, we're away again in two weeks time. We don't know actually whether we're going to go down to the new forest, uh, back down to set thorns. If, um, if you subscribed, you've seen my previous video on that of, uh, Limpy Lionel, um, or whether we're going to go to another CL, which is about half an hour away from us um, in Bibri, which is the other side of Sirencester. Um Really depends on timing and work and everything else. But um, anyway, we've had it. We've we've had a fabulous time here. Uh, it's been great. Um, don't really want to go back, <laughs> as most people don't when they go away. But um, yeah, uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Bye.